Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and whatever time I'm catching you at, it is great to be talking to you today. It is Tuesday, yes, Tuesday today, April 14th, and we've got another lesson for social studies today. Um, I'm keeping it a pretty light again today just for you all uh, because I don't know how much work you're really getting in your other classes and I don't want to overburden you this week. To jump on in, I'm hitting classwork, all right? I'm jumping into the turn-in document. Uh, as you can see, we've got the uh, document that you got to fill out and we've got the presentation for today. I'm going to split screen this because I think it might be a little bit easier to follow along. And as you can see, there is no question of the day today, right? It's because I'm going to ask you something a little bit different, all right? So no question of the day today. Um, you can go ahead and just check out some general announcements, all right? Remember that everything can be graded. All of your teachers should be assigning work this week. And because of this, I'm going to reduce your workload, all right? I will ask you to complete a survey based on today's work just to get an idea of whether or not I'm giving you too much work or too little work, all right? If you scroll down here, you'll see that we have our first question, which is, right, working collaborative, co collaboratively, excuse me, question on Google Classroom. So I read your comments yesterday and a lot of people want more connections with others and want to do the work with another classmates. And I think it's a great idea. I really think it is. So I really recommend that you find somebody else in our class or you can find somebody in a different period too to do the social studies work together. All right. Remember, you could do this by phone, by FaceTime or any method that your family is comfortable with. All righty. Uh, right. You got to be comfortable with it. All right. That's a key, key thing. All right. Also, um, uh, if you want to work with somebody else, there is a question in Google Classroom here that I'd like you to fill out. All right, it's right here. What can you do if you want to? Uh, if you want to, well, there's two questions that you need to answer. One, what's your email, and what time of day do you work? All right. So, uh, for example, I could put uh, Lieberman B at sfusd.edu, right? And I usually work around uh, 10 a.m. every day, right? Uh, that's when I post the assignments. All right, so once I hit turn in here, what I can do is I can see other classrooms responses, right? I can see what other classrooms, uh, other people uh, answered and um, I can respond to them, all right? So for example, oh, this guy, Mr. Lieberman, he commented. I can copy this email, I can email that person, say, hey, do you wanna work together? And then in the reply, you would say, hey, I messaged you, all right? That way they know that they that uh, you message them, all right, and that they should check their email for your message, all righty. Uh, if you don't want to work at, with anybody, as some people here you can see have already said, you could say, "Hey, I'm fine with working alone." That is totally cool, all right. Um, and if you see somebody who actually wrote their email and nobody repot has replied to them, feel free to message them, all right. It's an easy way to make a friend or make make somebody to talk uh, with, have somebody to talk with during these times, all right. We're gonna move on. Uh, take a pause here if you need to, or uh, move on with us. We're going to move on to the survey results, all right? The survey yesterday was anonymous, um, and some of you left me messages like you're trying to get a hold of me. I don't know who you are. You're like, I tried to message you. I'm like, I don't know who's writing this. So please email me if you want to, if you're trying to talk to me, or make an appointment, all right? You can just click the link here. You click the link here, and there's my email as well. Um, also, yesterday, uh, two of you didn't know the day of the week. I thought I'd share that fun fact with you. Anyways, uh, right, I read this after you've read this. Okay, feel free to pause for a second and come back. Let's look at data two, all right? Uh, data two is really interesting because uh, a lot of people said that they learned a lot yesterday, and a lot of people said that class was really difficult yesterday, right? Um, so you can see here that uh, on a scale of one to 10, how to switch to compare to the other classes, you're saying like, yeah, it's, uh, it's difficult compared to your other classes. And you were also saying that, uh, if you see here, it's, um, you're learning, you learned a lot. I felt like I didn't teach you that much yesterday. All right. I really didn't feel like I taught you a much. So I'm wondering, maybe did you think in general over the past two weeks and you weren't thinking about just today? So I don't know. I want to find out your response. Uh, go ahead and answer your question. If you do think I gave you a lot of work yesterday, please explain what you're talking about, alrighty? Uh, or if you're like, oh, you know what? I just worked on the essay a lot yesterday and that took up a lot of my time. That's totally reasonable. Yesterday was an essay working day, so it makes a lot of sense, alrighty? 
go ahead and post your response back here in Google Classroom, right? It's with data two, all right? Answer the following question about data two. And I also have the, the picture there if you need to see it again. Alrighty, so post your response here for that question. Feel free to pause and come back. Alrighty. Okay, and now uh, looking at data three, I see that there are uh, about 34 people who are still in the writing paragraphs one, two, one and two kind of place, right? Uh, that's pretty behind. That's a lot of you that are kind of behind. Um, I don't know who you are unless you contact me. I want to help you, right? Usually I would just be like, hey, let me see your essay really quick in class, but I can't do that. So please email me or you can make an appointment with me. The appointments are really great. They're really short, uh, usually really short, and I'm able to really just give you some good feedback. I can also, we can, without an appointment, just read through your essay and give you some feedback, all right? So please, please, please contact me. I'm here to help, but you gotta ask for help, all right? It takes courage, ask for help, all right? Um, this week, I have planned for only working on the writing because your total magazine article is due on Friday, all right? So here's what you might have to do. You might have to finish your writing. You might have an, uh, to get your image with the caption. That is guaranteed tomorrow, all right, everybody? Guaranteed Wednesday, We will. I will make sure to show you how you can get that image and the caption to make sure you're successful with that, all right? Maybe you need to make sure you have your citations or maybe your essay needs to be pre-reviewed or you need to have your lead editor reviewed it. Or maybe you just wanna make an appointment with me, all right? But this is all the last stuff that you have, all right? If you don't make the due date on Friday and you, and you still need to work on the project, you're gonna end up having extra work because you'll have to keep writing the essay and do the classwork at the same time, all right? So please, please, please try to get this essay done this week, all right? Really try to get this essay done this week, all right? A uh, couple of due dates, like I said. Uh, by Thursday, you should have your image with a caption. Um, the whole thing should be due by Friday, all right? Uh, let's keep going here. Part one, you're gonna be doing peer reviewing today. I'm gonna to go through this whole entire process with you to make sure that we get this absolutely correct, all right? So for peer review, the first thing you need to do is submit your essay. I created this GIF over here. So uh, just to explain the GIF, what I did is I'm going in, I'm grabbing my settings, all right? And I'm changing the settings to get a shareable link and I'm changing it so that they can comment, all right? Once they can comment, Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this form to submit my essay, all right? Um, I need permission, right? This is the problem. I'm in my, uh, my Lieberman CS account, which is a Gmail account, and what you need to do is use a, your SFUSD account, all right? <clears throat> so uh, let me show you what it looks like on my SFUSD account, all right? Uh, that's the peer grading here. So it'll look like this, all right? You're gonna write down your full name, your topic. You're gonna write down if there's anything you want your peer grader to look closely at, and then you're gonna paste the link to comment on your essay, all righty? That's the link that you got in the GIF over here, this link right here. Once you do that, you're gonna go on to the next section, all right? Also, by the way, I forgot to mention this. If you are behind and you need to use this time to write the essay, do that. Just skip the peer review. You'll get a three for the day. You won't get a four, alrighty? Uh, but you'll still get an A for today. Work on your essay, all right? That's really, really, really important, all right? Before you do the peer review. Because if you have nothing written, then what's the point of doing a peer review, all right? Um, Keep on going here. After you turn in your doc, you're gonna go to this link to see everybody's submissions. So once I go into this link, I'll be able to say, oh, hey, Mr. Lieberman wrote something on Fortnite, all right? So then what I wanna do is, oh no, somebody's already grading this one, all right? So what you need to do is wait for somebody else to submit their essay, all right? Once they submit their essay, you're going to comment on them. Just right click and hit comment. All right, you're gonna comment on them and you're gonna say, hey, I'm already grading this one. That way we don't have multiple people grading the same essays, all right? And then you can open up the link to their essay, all right? Uh, yeah, I'm not in the organization. No problem here. After you finish that, you're gonna go out to this form, all righty? And again, I need permission. I'm realizing I need to change the permission. The form looks like this. You're gonna go to this form, all right? 
and you're going to answer these questions, all right? What's your first name and last name? What's the name of the person you're peer editing? And what is their email address, all right? The email address, even though mine doesn't show up in there, it will show up for other people, all right? I added it a little later, all right? So the email address should be added. It's right here, okay? It will be added, all right? Cool. Uh, moving on to the next one. If we uh, keep going here, you're going to first start off answering who, what, when, where, why, and how is it important to today? Why would you answer those questions? Because you need to answer all these things about your topic, all right? So what is their topic, right? Answer the question, right? What, uh, right? what is the what for their article, right? So did they explain what it is, right? For example, if I'm looking at this essay, which is Isabella's, which is the uh, sample essay I'm providing, right? I would say, oh, this one's all about the history of painting. The what? Well, uh, the definition of painting is the expression of ideas. Boom, she's got the what. What is painting, right? The who, she's got the who, right? So I'm just going to look in here, figure out the who. Then uh, I'll look at the where. I can figure out the where. I can look at the look for the when, and I can put in the when. Then I'm going to look for the why, and then I'm going to put in the why. And then I'm going to see what is their expl explanation for how their topic is important to today and the future. That one's usually going to be found right here in the conclusion sentence, all right? Uh, all right, so uh, as you can see, she starts talking about how cameras start affecting painting and how it's, yeah, so she's talking about how it's affecting the future and today, so it's pretty cool. Uh, and then what do you think you need to work on in regards to the who, what, when, where, why? Right? Do they need to work on any of these things? You could write none if you think that, nah, they're all perfect. But if you think, hey, you can give a better explanation for what painting is, right? You can do that. Keep on going. You're going to look at their spelling, grammar, right? Make sure that you're in the commenting mode, right? Did you fix any errors? If you did fix some errors, write down what errors you fixed. After that, you're going to look at their title. Do they have a title? They might not have a title yet. That's okay. You could say, hey, they don't have one. You can say, no, I don't like the title, and you can suggest a title for them, all right, to help them out, all right? The last thing that you're going to look at is their in-text citations, all righty? Isabella has a ton of in-text citations, all right? Even in her first paragraph, she's got one, two in-text citations. Here's another in-text citation, all right? Here's another in-text citation, all right? We're seeing a lot of in-text citations, all right? So she does a really good job of having in-text citations, all righty? Then we're going to look at the works cited page. Let's scroll down. The works cited is the bottom part, all right? If they don't have this, you could write, hey, you're missing this. You need this, all righty? Notice her works cited page. It's in alphabetical order, C-E-L-O, all right? Alphabetical order from the first letter of whatever the citation starts out with. Remember, you can use Citation Machine to generate these citations, all right? Make sure they have all these things and you're going to check the boxes that they do not have. All right. Once you finish doing that, all right, you're going to hit submit. All right. Once you hit submit, you're going to go to your email address and you'll see there's an email because I've got the setting on that once you finish this form, you will be getting a summary of the charts and text responses. All right. All right. You're going to get an email of this. All right. So please, please, please check your email, all right? Check your email. You've got an email from them. You're going to forward the email to the person so they can see the edits that you recommend, all righty? So email the, per the form to the person who you reviewed, all right? Their email is in the submission doc. It's right over there, email, all right? And I'll go ahead and move this over to make it easier for you to find. Alrighty, and the last thing you're gonna do is a survey for today. Alrighty, and as you will see, there is one small change to the survey. Alright, and the small change is today, Tuesday, and only today. Alright, only base it on today. Was it too much work, too little work? Alright, are you learning stuff? Do you feel like you're learning stuff? And do you feel like today's work is difficult or not difficult? And where are you? Last but not least, to kind of sum things up for today, I just want to remind you that, you know, your History Magazine article is due on Friday, but you are not alone. I'm here at my house waiting for you to make an appointment with me, waiting for you to email me. As many of you know, I am emailing people back really, really quickly. So please email me any questions you might have. Alrighty. 
that's it for today. I know that was kind of a lot. You're doing great. Take care, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Let me know how everything's going, all right? Bye-bye.